Joan Rivers was once asked what she wanted written on her tombstone. Her reply, I had a great time. Today, friends and family attended a private funeral in New York to celebrate her life and that time. Here's Vladimir Dudier. As bagpipers played, an outpouring of celebrities and friends added a touch of Hollywood on Manhattan's Upper East Side today. Hundreds of camera-snapping fans, young and old, lined the streets straining to get a glimpse of the stars. The comedian once joked that she wanted her final send-off to be a huge showbiz affair, but the invitation-only service was private. Marilyn Bobrin is a member of River's extended family. It was a lot of laughter, which Jen would have loved. Um, and it, it was a beautiful ceremony. They had music, Hugh Jackman sang, the choir sang. They were, it was wonderful. Amy Rosenblum is a former producer for Rivers. Like, there's no one else like her. No one else can replace her. No one. Can we talk here? I mean, the people I... The 81-year-old died on Thursday after she suffered cardiac arrest during a routine procedure at this New York outpatient clinic. An autopsy by the city medical examiner was inconclusive, but additional testing is planned to determine the cause of death. The State Department of Health is investigating. Rest by Oscar de la Renta. <laughs> by Oscar Meyer. <laughs> Known for her caustic and self-deprecating brand of humor, Rivers once gave comedy writer Ronald Lang some memorable advice. She said, whatever you do, don't never give up. Don't let nobody tell you you can't do something. If they do, give them the finger. After the memorial, Rivers' grandson and only daughter Melissa received words of support from fans who came to pay tribute outside her apartment. Katie Haywood Gray left a bouquet of flowers. She had such a funny humor that everybody could relate to. You know, rich people, poor people, working people, non-working people, you know, nobody was, nobody was left out of her jokes. Everybody could relate to them. So I think that people really kind of resonated with that. Joan Rivers wrote in her book that when it came to her funeral, she wanted Meryl Streep crying in five different languages. Well, Jeff, today at the Temple Emanuel Congregation Synagogue right behind me here, Streep wasn't in attendance. But shock jock Howard Stern delivered some remarks, and everyone told us that they couldn't be repeated on television, but that Rivers would have loved them. Vladimir Dudier, thank you very much.